Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.6 with Kerbalism. In this episode we begin with the tech tree because I saw we had 700 science and we could unlock more things. Uh, but I have been told of this sickbay part, uh, really a module to a part, adding the sickbay to hitchhiker storage container to detoxify kerbals of radiation. I don't know if that works with the lifetime radiation thing. Of course it would make most sense to work with the lifetime radiation thing because that's the most detrimental. If they reset whenever they come home it hardly matters but uh, well it depends on how you look at it. Uh, it depends on how long you're deploying your kerbals I suppose but uh, yeah um, we probably should try that out at least. I don't know if I approve of it necessarily. At least uh, for the realism overall stuff that's not gonna be the way to go because there is no magical way to I mean, past a certain point, there's no way to detoxify from radiation like that. Um, but that's complicated. Radiation is really complicated, let's face it. Uh, very, very varied uh, responses to radiation and everything. But uh, in order to unlock this, even though we have enough science for that, we do need to unlock this first, field science, which has some of the KIS parts in there right now. Uh, so let me just unlock field science, but we need, um, wait, oh, requires any, wait, is this, oh, I didn't need to unlock, dang it, I didn't need, to, uh, I, I'm so used to realism overhaul where it's required that everything down here is required, this was, re uh, requires any, I could have unlocked that. Anyway, uh, we are going to go over to our probes and get some more science, so it's gonna be alright, we're gonna get... I, I want to focus on getting more science, and we've got an Ike scanner approaching Ike that's going to start uh, scanning for resources, and we've got the Sentinel-1 thing to do. I don't know how long that's going to take, and then we've got a whole bunch of stuff that's probably dead already <laughs> approaching Jewel, uh, so that's not going to be great, uh, but I, I eventually want to bring our Kerbals back from Minmus uh, for the time being, but... If we could unlock that uh, sick bay, we could try that out with the Kerbals currently around Minmus. Uh, Minmus, where are you? Uh, and see if it works while they're still deployed. So, anyway, let's jump over to the Ike Scanner and see what's going on. Okay, we have entered Duna SOI and we have good communication. Signal strength, 73%. And we're doing a minor course adjustment here to ensure that we get closer to Duna and back into the plane of the system. It doesn't seem to be really getting us into an Ike-ish plane, is it? Oh, uh, I guess it says Ike scanner, but we're really gonna scan Duna first. We've got so much Delta V, we might as well, sure. Uh, we probably need to be higher than that. We'll see when, when we get there exactly how high we need to be in order to do the scan. Actually, maybe I can ask it right now. Form orbital survey. Um, well, anything above 32 kilometers? Huh. Maybe they should reflect on that because 32 kilometers is inside the atmosphere. Certainly the lower limit should be higher than that. Right? I hope we're sufficiently polarish. We can correct that if necessary. Okay, well, that should be fine anyway. Let's see. It is uploading the orbital survey data. We got 50 signs for that. And we've got the overlay. All right. Um, let's increase the cutoff. Uh, let's see. There's little patches there. I want to know where this stuff is. Or... Okay, those are our ore concentrations above 70, above 80, nothing above 90. Okay, still plenty of ore to exploit all over the place. Not really at the poles, interestingly enough. But uh, plenty of equatorial areas are available. Okay, um, well, while we're at it, let's get over to... I can see if we can do stuff there. Now that's going to be an interesting transfer. Um, but then I, you know, Ike is very amenable to transfers anyway. 
Okay, there, there is something. And we want it to get into a polar orbit, so it should be okay. Okay, I should probably just take that. All right, let's go over there. Really good orientation for our communication. All right, and making orbit around Ike. I think this was just a scanner probe. There's no other instruments. So I'm not missing out on any other science right now. We have another probe around Ike that is handling the other science and will hopefully bring it back to Kerbin. Really, we need to investigate whether we can send this to somewhere else. It will have already done all it needs to do around here. Is that good enough for the scanner? Seems that way. And we got another 50 science. Okay, well, we still need 34 science for the sick bay. All right, uh, let's see. What, what about our other probe? Can it just transmit something or? Maybe that's not such a good idea. It doesn't have too much on it. Um, our station probably has more science than this. This just has the goo containers. And, but we can't transfer our station over here. That periapsis is awful though. Um, but I guess it's been safe, so I, I won't mess with it. I don't know, I, I don't see my science, so maybe I just didn't pack too much. I was just focused on bringing the station over. Granted, we had a contract for that, so. Okay, well, this is not the place to get science right now. Okay, so we're back at Euphrates Station, and maybe we can get some more science from here if we reset the science engineer and bring that down. The problem is we don't really have a pilot here anymore. Uh, we have two scientists and an engineer. I sort of want the engineer to blow that thing up. So, first of all, maybe we should do that. All right, let's see what we can do. Somebody mentioned that I could still take that thing off, even though the Kerbal can't, or let it drift into space. I don't even care if it has fuel in it, <laughs> so uh, it probably doesn't. Uh, it's got two docking ports on it, though. I haven't done a whole lot of KIS and KS stuff anyway, so... Can we actually... Oh, well, why did you say it was too heavy to grab before? Hmm. Maybe it was tied by the tank. Let's grab the other one. Alright, well, we've got the docking ports. Um, all I got for grab is bring more kerbals. Yep, so maybe I misunderstood something. I need USI in here just so I can destruct that instead. But let's get the docking port stowed. I don't know if we have... Well, we, we could just put them somewhere, I suppose. Hmm... There we go. Eh, good enough. Better than them floating in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's see what one of our scientists can do. I mean, the pod probably doesn't have any SAS with just a scientist. Okay, restore. I probably could have done this some simpler way, but here we are. EVAs are fun anyway, though I guess they take up mod propellant. Oh, observe mystery goo. Hey, why not? Ah, uh, this doesn't count. Okay. Nope. Reset that. Okay, let's get him in the pod and see if it's feasible for me to make a landing with him. I think it's manageable. How much food do we have inside right now? It, that should be enough. Yep. 
Okay. 500 meters per second, though. I, I don't like that. Let's... Yeah, let's get some more fuel in. Okay, dock back up again. Hey, hey, dock. Okay, good. All right, so... Okay. We are all set, I think. Not quite filled up. I left two of the tanks empty. Well, not empty, um, however full they were before. But I think it should be plenty. 1,184 meters per second. Okay, so where should we land? We've landed a few times on Minmus already, so... Gotta find a biome that we haven't done before. Of course, we're carrying the Science Junior, so that's a little bit different, but... Midlands, Lowlands... This one there, and the Lesser Flats... Great Flats... I feel like we should wait a little bit until it rotates to see what's going on elsewhere. Greater Flats have been done. How about Highlands? This Lowlands? Hmm. Maybe not Highlands? I don't know if the poles are different. Let's get surface info out. Probably I missed the slopes. I always miss the slopes. Nope, I did slopes. At least I did something at the slopes. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's just uh, float along. See what biomes we hit. And if there's one that we haven't hit, we'll just stop it at that point. Because you can do that around Nimbus. Flats. This just says flats. Hold on. Okay, surface, negative velocity, stop. <laughs> we'll land on this flats. I didn't know there was a just flats flats. Alright, oh, no SAS. I probably shouldn't use smart ASS. Because that might be considered cheaty without SAS. But then again, it's really wiggly. Honestly, having no pilot on board should be more reason to have SAS. I'm not gonna bother with that nonsense. Okay, no, no, don't do the... Oh, a smart ASS decided to do things. Okay, no, no, okay. Uh, okay, um, stop, stop breakdancing, stop. You might actually break something. All right, settling down. Okay, so observe materials bay. Keep, we'll, yeah, record the data and we're gonna keep it for the station so that we can work on that in the lab. Yeah. Gonna get the radiation data. Oh, this is not biome dependent. This is. Let me try and keep it. It'll probably transmit it anyway, but that won't matter. It's fine. Okay. Doman, you may EVA. Collect that sample, EVA report, plant a flag so that we know that we've been here. Okay, Doman at the flats. I think we run out of min, oh, min is biomes. Maybe, maybe we have. That's not to say we've done everything everywhere, but... Okay, we've got things. We probably have enough science now already. Let's see... Science. Um, 
Well, it's accumulating. We'll get past it once it transmits all of it. All right, back to the station. We had a very definite purpose in mind. Oh, it's all wobbly. Uh, I, no, I, I don't want. I don't want to deal with this. Okay, hold on. Stop that. <sighs> Life is too short for that sort of nonsense. So once again, the Minmus Science Winnebago does its thing. I think Doman Kerman got an extra star because of this. Okay, we've uploaded a seismic scan. Well, okay, 12 kilometers. Is that a uh, close approach distance that won't get us killed? Mm, I don't even see where that 12 kilometers is. Oh, that, that's the 12 kilometers that's going to get us killed. <laughs> We'd have to go through the planet in order to... Um, we're trying to catch up to... Well, I guess we're delaying here. We'll go into a higher orbit and do everything. Maybe we should use one of the reposition docking ports. I don't know, maybe the slope is going to be bad? We'll see. Uh, are you going to be able to... Okay, it docked. Okay, now let's queue up the science, the data in the science lab. I file for analysis in a lab, yes. Right? <laughs> I hope. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's got data in there. Lab materials study. All right. I need... Uh, God, I didn't dock that very well, did I? Okay, Doman transfer, please. Okay, now meanwhile, we want to unlock that technology to see if uh, Ribford detoxifies. Wait a minute, did Doman shave? I think Doman shaved. He used to have the whole goatee thing, didn't he? I don't know, I'm confused. Anyway, uh, will that module automatically appear in this Hitchhiker storage container, or do we have to launch a new one? That's question number one. And the question number two, how does it work? Ribfort's in there right now. Let's see how much radiation Ribfort has, just for reference. Ribfort has 15%. Okay, so that's what we've got. Let's go back to the Space Center and unlock the technology. Okay, advanced science tech. It'll be good for all sorts of other things like the ISRU unit. The gravioli, really, it's a pretty heavy technology. Lots of stuff that you'd want anyway. Okay, so we've got that. Add sick bay to hitchhiker storage container. Let's see. Let's go to scatter. Um, let's go to that station again and see whether it's automatically in there. Rupert's in this one. It doesn't say anything. Yep, I mean, it doesn't say anything specifically. I would assume that there's some sort of sickbay-enabled message that would occur. So, let's launch a new one with a sickbay and attach it to the station and then see what happens. Okay, I think it, the sickbay thing just doesn't work when you've got the lifetime radiation activated because I don't see it as an option there and if we configure pod and try and change stuff uh, pressure control it's got you know oh well 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 what mm hmm okay that's buggy has unlocking the sick bay thing made it buggy okay just stick to water recycle let me try the top one my prop Scrubber, pressure, humidity, water recycler. 
So as we can see, sickbay not an option there. Now I wouldn't expect the bottom to be any different. So yeah, I don't know. Either it automatically does it, and that's just all in the background, or it's not there at all. If we take a look here, it doesn't indicate that it has like a function to reduce radiation anywhere in this. I mean, it has this comfort thing, treadmill. Let's see if it's got, uh, let's say we put a Kerbal in. Sure, Bill. And now let's take a look at radiation. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't, uh, I don't know if that's any different. <laughs> I mean, uh, if it's got to be able to reduce people's radiation, then maybe these things should be infinite, right? Lifetime radiation, it doesn't really say anything about it. So let's just proceed without sending a new module. And I want to deal with Sentinel-1. Presumably our Kerbals will be okay for the next 62 days. They're only at uh, 15, 14, and 17 percent radiation. And radiation is the main consideration there. We've got plenty of food, water, and oxygen. I don't know about perpetual, but it's what it says. Okay, so we are getting ready for our maneuver with Sentinel-1 here. Electric charge is fine. Oh, it's satisfied. I'll circularize it a little bit better. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so log observation data. Well, I, I guess we'll transmit that. Needs to be recovered. Okay, fine. Start object tracking. Mapping asteroids. Okay. I wish it'd keep a note of how many it's mapped. <laughs> I don't know what the number is. Uh, you know, for some other things it has a countdown option, but this it doesn't. Hmm. Well, well, it, it's doing its thing. And I don't know how long it's going to take to finish doing its thing. Recover science data from space around Minmus. I probably should just get done with that, shouldn't I? Let me just quickly take care of that. Okay, rather than just get some trivial science from Euphrates Station, I decided that we will send our new gravioli detector over. And, yep, we can't do it right now, just checking. And it's a very simple rocket. We've got four spark engines at the bottom, and that's it. There's an ant engine on the probe itself, and that should be able to handle it. We'll find out. Only 10 electric charge, though. Hold on a sec. Let me fix that. Hopefully things don't flip out too much. All right, everything's on and launch. Very sort of submarine, submarine launched ballistic missile style we've got here. Well, we certainly should get rid of the fairing. And we'll probably keep this suborbital, even though it has some extra fuel. Well, sort of suborbital. Okay, separation. Now, gravioli. All right, transmit it. Let's extend these antennae. Okay, so we could do a bit more science around Kerbin with it based on the surface biome. There we go. All right, but uh, let's just get on with Minmus. And that'll be a good enough start. Okay. On to Minmus. Remember, we're just trying to fulfill this science day from Space Around Minmus contract, but if we get some extra science, that's also good. And we've got in space high over Kerbin's grasslands. Uh, surface biome dependent. I suppose I should put up surface info to see if that changes. I didn't want to get in the way of the transfer, getting all the science, but while we're on our way out, we can get them. 
I guess I'll put this into a polar orbit. Okay, but we can do high over, high over to Midlands, and that should fill the contract. Yep. Uh, slopes. Usually hard to get that one. So for the next episode, I'm going to toss in uh, the restock mod and we'll see how things look like. But we're also going to be focused on bringing those jewel probes into jewel and the Duna. I, I don't know whether we'll bring back our crew from Minmus yet. I mean, that's practically a year that we're leaving them. But uh, if their radiation looks bad, we'll bring them back. If their radiation looks okay, they've got supplies. So we'll leave them around Minmus in that case. But otherwise, I'll bring them back without sending another crew out because after the restock mod, we'll try tossing in real solar system and see what happens. But I want to make sure that all our probes are done with first. And that includes the one that's coming back from Ike. Remember, there's that one probe. And also this Drez scanner needs to reach Drez. After that, it's just really the Sentinel telescope that will be out there with a question mark. And our stations will probably be in new locations that aren't very usable. Let's see, is this close to? Just above the poles, excellent. All right, time to make orbit then. I guess we could leave it sort of in the middle of just above and high over. Let's see if we hit some other biomes. We ought to, there are a lot of biomes. The gravioli is the most lucrative of the science experiments, but of course it's like right at the end of the tech tree, so. Fair enough, right? It's like the key to unlocking all the other, the higher technologies that you might add with like community tech tree or something like that. If I eventually, I mean, yeah. Community tech tree is a complicated topic. It depends exactly how I decide to uh, mess with real solar system and Kerbalism. I could spend a lot of time, but we should probably just wait for another contract to get more science out of this. Okay, we have not done high over the greater flats. There we go. All right, yeah, I'll leave it here. Next time we'll see how bad off our jewel probes are, whether they even have communication or not. And we'll also note other things, but especially I'll try out the restock mod. So. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.